Hello, ghost hunters. It's time to get salty. Prior to the Ascension update, salt was mostly only useful for getting photo money and completing the salt objective. If you were lucky, you could use it to identify your ghost type, but only for the Wraith. With Ascension, Salt got a lot of changes and has become very useful. So let's take a look at this item and see how it has changed. The Tier 1 looks like our old Salt, but rather than placing three piles with each container, you can only place two. This item produces a small, white, circular pile of Salt. This item has three uses and rather than making piles, makes long strips of pink Salt. This item will always show footsteps in the middle of the pile where the salt will become very thin. The Tier 3 salt jar has three uses and places a long pile of black salt. This is where things are a little bit confusing. This salt has some very specific uses. If a ghost steps in the salt during the hunt, its speed will be reduced by 50% for two seconds, and if it steps in the salt pile outside of a hunt, then it will be returned to its favorite room. And it appears that once the ghost has stepped in the salt, it no longer has any of these effects. So if you're wanting to use the slowdown during the hunt, then make sure you place the salt in an area where the ghost will step in only during the hunt. So you might be thinking, that doesn't make salt all that much more useful. But if you were paying attention during the Tier 3 salt description, then you realize that ghosts now walk in salt during hunts. Only one ghost can't step in salt, the Wraith. So if you place salt in a strategic position, making sure it walks through that area during a hunt, then you can easily identify your ghost type if it fails to disturb the salt. And if you're good about placing salts correctly, then you can place all of your salt piles in the same spot, thus allowing you to get nine photos of disturbed salt after your first hunt, assuming you're using tier two or tier three salt. And at least for now, because this seems like a bug to me, each player can take a photo of the same salt to get photo rewards. In other words, if you have three salt piles and there are four players, you can each take three photos of the disturbed salt, thus filling your journal with three star photos for those of you trying for a perfect game. I suspect that sometime in the future, this will get fixed, but for now, it works. Taking a photo of a salt pile that has been stepped in will label the photo as disturbed salt. But here is where the salt is very useful, if you're still waiting for evidence from your ghost. Once they've stepped in the salt, check for footprints. If you find footprints, then you know your ghost has UV evidence. You can also take photos of these footprints for photo rewards. This is helpful for players who have a ghost that is a bit stingy with the fingerprints, or if your ghost is in a location with limited surfaces to leave that UV evidence. For this reason, I highly recommend bringing salt on every hunt. Keep in mind that salt is now a consumable, and once the salt is placed, it is considered used and will need to be repurchased for your next hunt. So what about that tier three salt? Is it actually useful? Sort of. I haven't found that using the tier three salt to teleport a ghost back to its room is all that useful, mostly because if it is a wandering ghost, it's just going to leave again. But if you need a ghost photo, you could easily use this salt to kite the ghost through an area get your photo, and then get to a hiding spot. Overall, salt is a very useful tool, and it is recommended that you bring at least one on every hunt. Regardless if you're playing grindy hardcore games with no sanity and no evidence, or playing easier modes with all evidence, salt has a place in your investigations. Do you bring salt on your hunts? How do you use it in your contracts? If you have tips or tricks for other players, leave them in the comments. I love to hear how others use tools in their investigations. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and as always, happy hunting.